Once upon a time, there was an ending. And we minions searched high and low for a new overlord. We were like fleas without a dog, maggots without a carcass, pimples without a face. And on midwinter's eve, in the town of Nordberg, we found a beginning. My pa says that he was found outside your Don't come near me! Snowman Brown! Yes. Master would know how to smash snow thingies! Oh, oh, oh! Hit them, snowy men, Master! He destroyed our snowmen! You're a big, mean bully! We'll get you for that! Your magic master! Just like... Uh, 
and have to be handled by a professional. Maybe they're just overtired. have spoken. Surrender your magic users or we will cleanse your whole town if necessary. Well, well, maybe we do have one. Keep together, lads! Come <laughs> on! 
Overlord, you say? This is the last hope for evil. He's a little short. Whoa. Destroyed an entire legion? Bodies, screams, million carnage. Oh, that is good news. Fire up the dragon! The boy needs a proper evil upbringing. And whilst evil was nurtured in the bowels of the earth, in its absence came the rise of a new age, a new power, and thus began the reign of the glorious empire. Everyone was happy, and those who weren't were killed, enslaved, or had other nasty things done to them. Now it's your time, master. Time to crash the party. Time to crush the empire. Time to bring back the black. Lose the minions of war. Because evil always finds a way. Here he comes. The master? Oh, the master, the master. We'll see. That's correct, Wrath. He must be tested, as the beetle is tested by the dung pile. Follow, follow, follow! Those Nordberg winds go right at my nethers, so I'll stay here. Your helmet will allow me to hear and see what you do. Think he's smart enough to get it? Let make it the aim. Follow, follow! Master. We managed to find an old friend of yours. He's been on ice quite a while. <laughs> Yetis are relatively gentle creatures and extremely hardy. Nature's training dummies. At your current level, you can bash him around for hours and he'll hardly feel a thing. A room quaver. <laughs> Find own pit. Savages, no one pick me can. No, he's media to angelicate. But use your minions to whack that waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> to reach the creature. Surround and savage him! Oh, he who would make a most foreboding dark master. <laughs> Be gone, you beast, and make it fast! For if you don't, we'll kick your... It's wandered off! Oh, you should catch up with him in the hunting grounds. <laughs> the place is Brown. bursting with life force, Browns. both hunters Browns. and the hunted. You should gather plenty of it to support the minions needed to build your dark tower. Welcome to the test of life force gathering. The fluffy rats! See? Poor fishy! Die! Die, sweaty furball! Now the hunt begins! Show them who's top of the food chain! Those glowing orbs are life force. 
Gather them and they'll collect in the netherworld, allowing you to summon more minions from the gates. Brown minion gate for master! Ah, there you are! This is Grubby, sire. He's a minion digger. Diggers can tunnel out of the netherworld and create minion gates in certain areas. They're drawn to your evil. It seems the Yeti's rather fond of those disgusting balls of fluff. You'd better find a way of discouraging him. Ah, you can put your training into practice. Make sure you get all the life force in the area. Replenish your horde from the minion gate, sire. Life force equals minions, and we need as much as we can get. you come from? I got a permit from the Empire to hunt on these lands. This is my Yeti. I saw it first. Get lost! <laughs> Looks like our friend has forged a path ahead. of the sanctuary valiant protectors of the sanctuaries and all creatures of magic and nature soldiers stop this savage protect the fluffy ones terrible elf well that's what happens when you spend too much time hugging things sire <laughs> That's all he needs is a hug. Huh? Huh? 
Goddess are beautiful, especially the cute ones. Just jealous because your creatures aren't fluffy. Please, can't we just talk about this? And we need as much as we can get. Nasty, nasty. <laughs> Looks like our friend has forged a path ahead. Continue to the camp and find out what that Yeti's up to. Don't forget, we still need a spell stone to give them. Yay! Yeah, yeah. mm. Those elves are magical. I wonder if they've got something knocking about in their sanctuary that will do the trick.
this bad karma behind us, man. Hmm. He's not looking quite so gentle anymore. In fact, he looks rather peeved. <laughs> folk didn't have enough problems of our own with the Empire without the likes of you trying to expunge us. Now, let us away! Set sail for the sanctuary! Oh, we should follow them, sire. If only we had the swimming abilities of the Blue Millions. Oh well, looks like we'll have to find another way into this sanctuary of theirs. Looks like someone has been logging this area, Gloob. I wonder why. Magical creatures! We've got a breach, man! Attack! Attack! <laughs> Your mounts won't follow you into certain areas, sire. And like all primitive beasts, these wolves are... Hurry up! I have a warm oil bath and a large plate of quail's eyeballs to attend to. Of course, Boreas. I thought you'd like to meet some of the brave men who secured the magical creatures from the, uh, area. And these are the lucky ones. What's up with you, Maximus? No, I wanted to call me Miss Trixieville Buttercup Fairy! Uh, are you serious? And you could all come and visit me when I move in <clears throat> into in my mushroom house. SIC species identity crisis. It's a terrible thing. We have no idea what this is, but it was well guarded. Well, make sure it doesn't eat anyone, and then bring it to my town hall. Foolish fat human, that's a spellstone, sire. It unlocks the magical potential of any who possess it. Better not let it fall into Boreas's pudgy hands. Browns! <laughs>
to the sanctuary, creature of magic. No, do not let this barbarian in, Dryad. He is an enemy to all that is fluffy and adorable, like this poor fellow here. Don't worry, no one. I'm sure you'll find a way to bypass that pesky plant person. This looks like a shard of netherworld rock. Perhaps it will become active once the netherworld accepts you as its true overlord. I don't know what happened here, but their loss is our gain. Quick, think of that. As soon as Grubby can build a gate, you can send it back to the netherworld. We stole belongs to the gnomes. <laughs> now, he's either declaring war or he wants to marry you to his pet doormouse. <laughs> That's clearly an act of aggression, sire. It cannot be tolerated. Exterminate those squeakers. Winters have passed since you were last there, sire. Soon you will return. Once more on the feasting of Midwinter's Eve to finish what you started. Revenge is a dish best served cold and screaming. The Netherworld, Dark One. Back to the Netherworld, Dark One.
Nordberg. Nearly 13 winters have passed since you were last there, sire. Soon you will return, once more on the feasting of Midwinter's Eve, to finish what you started. Revenge is a dish best served cold and screaming. Gavnivorius said he wanted stuffed widgeon at the midwinter. Aha! The trouble has managed to bring you a netherworld gate, Master. This will allow your minions to transport your spellstone straight to the netherworld. surging into you, Lord. I don't quite know what spell is unlocked within you, sire. If you run into some townsfolk, do feel free to use them as test subjects. Ah, sound the alarm! Run for the gates! Seems the locals are just lining up to try out your evil presence spell, sire. <laughs> Great sire, I need a lot less messy dip. spell for longer. You will kill them outright. Enslavement or death. Domination or destruction. These are the great overlording choices, sire. To ward off their midwinter's demon. We'll need to find our red minions before we can enter. Then we'll really give them something to fear. spell earlier and you will become your slaves instead of piles of dust. Yeah. Yeah. 
They'll follow you obediently, sire. Like minions. But if you get bored, you can always kill them. To swell your rank, sire, you can release your evil presence spell earlier and subdue these peons instead. you with its master. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! Do calm down, Quaver. We don't want another accident. You are indeed our true overlord. It's somewhat of a relief, sire. We didn't want to have to bury another candidate. Master! The Netherworld will be your new seat of power, lord. It's a little on the cavernous side at the moment, but now you're properly here, we can start to refurbish and expand the tunnel system. This will allow us access to other areas of the world where you can establish your new dark domain. I feel a small poem is called for to commemorate the event. Oh dear, he's off again. <coughs> there was a boy from the Nordberg town who sent the locals screaming. But now the boy's become a man, he'll start his evil scheming. Sorry about that, sire. Sometimes there's no stopping him. Believe me, I've tried. This is your throne, sire. And it's not just a place to rest your evil posterior. You can teleport around your domain from here, and it will also alert you about recent events and quests. Why don't you try it out, and then let me know if you'd like to take the tour. before you go down there, master. <laughs> Forgive the intrusion, but your visit to Nordberg has not got unnoticed. The Empire is trying to dig through to the Netherworld. I sneaked out to tell you. I, uh, thought after you dealt with Boreas, you 
might see your way clear to perhaps rewarding me for this information. Boy, maybe uh, making me mayor of Nordberg once you conquer it. You know, when you're not busy, your magnificence may be just on uh, Sundays. Sunday afternoons, maybe? Thank you. I can't wait to start my, I, I mean, our mayoral duties. We can't let the Empire take control of Nordberg, Master. They'll start thinking the place belongs to them. challenge and conquer Nordberg. World domination won't just come to you. The situation is grave. We don't want these tin heads to dig through to our dark domain. We must retrieve the reds from the sanctuary and remove- Halt! Don't think you can find refuge in our sanctuary. But uh, what was that? Come soldiers, I think I hear the sound of a mildly distressed badger. Fire! Retreat to the sanctuary! Netherworld Shard over there is pulsing at your evil presence, Lord. I allow you even greater access to your dark powers. I await you, Master. I think you should give it a bit of a magical nudge. I think you should give it a bit of a magical nudge. Master! You're... You're in the body of a minion, sire! How unseemly! I hope no one's looking. Still, minions are smaller than you, Lord, so perhaps you can use your newfound form to sneak up on that dryad! <laughs> She's healing herself. That part is undefended. Now's your chance. Destroy it. Now the way is clear for your imposing magnificence to enter. of light magic here for my liking. That's the good kind. Not like yours at all. Light magic occurs when the magical energy that's all around us is absorbed into nice creatures. Ones who use it for noble pursuits like saving things and tinkling and shining and baking lentil cookies. We don't take kindly to your type here. You just make trouble, throwing fireballs and scaring the wildlife, just like those little red devils. Come on! 
Come on, Petunia, let's leave this riffraff. I doubt you'll get such a warm welcome from the other creatures here. Creature. No good lord. That second triad is protecting the pod whilst the other heals. You'll have to find another way through. can't follow, sire. Just leave them behind and they'll return to the netherworld for a little downtime. They're eating my legs! They're eating my legs! <laughs> little things! Little things everywhere! These are dark crystals. Pure evil energy that's become crystallized. Very powerful and very rare, sire. You may find them useful. They're eating my legs! They're eating my legs!
Master has come. Oh, Master. Ah, look at the little burninators. You still need to find and return the Red Hive to the Netherworld, sire. Only thing can you spawn more Reds outside the Sanctuary.
for elves on lower platforms. Gain the height advantage and you can rain down fiery death upon them. Fritz! Looking wench, it is she's a fairy.
trampled our village, but you will respect our holy shrine. The crystal it holds protects all life in this sanctuary. This contains great power. Power that a certain evil overlord could use. Queen Fay, don't say I didn't warn you. You have stolen our spellstone intruder and defiled this shrine, bringing darkness into a place of light. Suffering be upon you. This cavern will be your private quarters, Master. It is traditional in overlording circles to find oneself a mistress, or several. Keep an eye out for a suitable candidate. You know, something to make the room look pretty and to waft about the place. I'm quite partial to a bit of wafting.
This is your magic room, sire. By collecting spellstones and catalysts, you can expand your magical powers. Magic is clean, Carnage, sire. No wear and tear on your weapons. Not so many entrails lodged in your armor. Make sure you keep an eye out for catalysts, sire. For such large artifacts, they're always getting themselves lost. You can see how strong your spells are and what you need to upgrade them. vibrating with excitement already. Collecting forge stones on your travels will allow you to forge more items, sire. Now, let's see what Giblet has for you. you wish to build. Keep armory stocked, master. You never know what you might have to bash. Everything for an overlord. Yes, yes.
burrows are believed to be the birthplace of the first minion. He who dug his way to the surface to serve the very first overlord. After we lost our last master, and before the great cataclysm decimated the old lands, we retreated here in the Exodus. Here we've remained, searching for our next bastion of evil. Minion Mortis is in charge. That is to say, he facilitates your decisions, sire. Spawns new minions, tends the souls of the dead, makes sure they don't come back with the wrong head, that sort of thing. Minions we live, serve we die. It is what we are, and what we will always be. Balance, the spawning place. You bring me life force, I The barracks are where minions live when they're not out causing chaos with you, sire. It's also where we keep the hives, which allow minion summoning. Unfortunately, during the exodus, several minion hives were lost. We only managed to retain... Ta-da! Minion upgrades to collect, sire.
with this forge stone, you'll be able to unlock new forging recipes. Giblet will be pleased. Humans on fire, it's the smell you see. Use your red and get cooking. Oh, <laughs> 
Sports Bug Master. your reds and those explosive barrels will get on like a house on fire reds. or a soldier on fire <laughs> <laughs> you choose all <laughs> a slathering wolf looking at you like you're a giant cat can cause the most fearless of creatures to run for the hills Hunt up your browns! Thank <laughs> you. 
to those archers. Solarius is very concerned, brother, that you allowed Nordberg to be most violently raided by a magical barbarian. Uh, the situation is under control, Marius. My men are rooting out the source. Well, they better had to. 
You were sent here to prove yourself as a governor and show you've got a backbone beneath that blubber. He hasn't. It's blubber all the way through. <sighs> Step out of it, master. Time to show Nordberg that there's a new breed of evil in town. Tear down that blustering Plotus statue! Show these peasants how an overlord does things! You think that's imposing? Laborious. I thought you could handle governors with one tiny town. This is my town, and I am not at home to demons. Because you knew Salarius favored me. You blubbery fool. No wonder Mama left. Don't you bring Mama in this. That's it. I'm not speaking to you. Fine. Fine. Get me out of here. Oh, what? How dare you? 
You have insulted the Emperor and my family. This will not go unpunished. Mark my words. Hmm. Considering the Empire condemns magic, that looked awfully magical to me. Get me out of here, slave! Get me out at once! Covered in snow. How about you and I get reacquainted? Perfect. Hmm. Think we can steal his shoes? I was once crushed by a big statue, you know, back in the day. Not completely, obviously. Last, you have a dark tower truly worthy of you, Master. So this is your place, huh? Well, it certainly beats Nordberg. It's warm for a start. I'm not sure about this thing, though. What is it? Some kind of walnut with ears. Perhaps you and your new mistress should visit the private quarters. Great. I'm going to see where my fur rugs and hunting souvenirs will go. I shall meet you up there, witch boy. Take my advice on the fairer sex. It's best to keep them happy. I suggest using some of that gold of yours to buy her a few delightful knickknacks for the private quarters. Ladies like. Hello, witch boy. Come and see what I've done with the place. I've put some of your little friends to work. They're strong and seem to be able to think and move at the same time puts them well above the average Norbergian. The place is becoming a little more fitting now. People should think dark, evil overlord rather than cave troll. Still needs work though. I've sketched out a few upgrades, but you'll need to dig into your pockets a little. A bed would be a good start. Make me feel a little more relaxed. You don't snore, do you? Try not to get yourself locked in an infernal abyss. Begging your pardon, Dark Lord, but I thought you should know something. There are some troublemakers in Nordberg. They're planning to steal the town's food supplies and sail out of Nordhaven in one of our... I mean, your ships. Um, also, uh, you wouldn't be able to lend uh, me Mistress Kelda, would you? The nights in Norberg are very cold and lonely, you know. Wonderful, Lord. And about Mistress Kelda? Ah! Cheeky devil! Hurry, sire! That ship is our ticket out of Nordberg to find the other million tribes! The ship! 
It's frozen in the ice. It's him! Quick! Let's get out of here!
It's him! The witch boy! I mean, man! I mean, thing! Run! Run! Wait! Perhaps he's not without mercy. Sorry for the fuss, sire. Folks around here are a little allergic to death. Perhaps with a little persuasion, they can help you in your request. Maybe by doing this! free from the ice. I'll get the minions to make it seaworthy for you. Time to leave the fiery fjords behind. The minions have prepared a ship for you to sail to the lands of Everlight. Be careful, the seas are somewhat treacherous thanks to your recent environmental reconditioning. Step on board, Master. <laughs>
drummer to increase the speed. Do it well. He loves it, really. See how your ship can crush floating objects, sire? Your rings can also target enemies from the deck. Ah, nautical destruction, sea mines, master. The Empire must have left them to defend Nordhaven. Oh, we were lucky this time, but I advise keeping out of the way of those little explosive tinkers in future. You are drowning the land with your actions. Hey, look, it's the man! The man's gonna bring us all down! Stay back! Every life doesn't want your uncool ways. Master, we need to find some way of getting rid of these mines without sending into them. We don't want to resort to violence, but the fluffy and the fuzzy need our protection. Turn back, man! Turn back! Where will all the baby animals go? <laughs> Sire, they're just too stupid. Does my black heart more good than a retreating elf, especially if they're on fire? This reef helps bar the way to Everlight. The elves believe it's nature's blessing. I believe it's just to keep the wet sops in one place. have been having some carnage fun without us. From the looks of things, the Empire were winning until the water started to rise. Possibly due to a teensy bit of ice melting. Where did all this crazy water come from?
Choose all!
Good, Dark Master. You've returned the first key statue. Three more to go. from the third key statue, sire! After them!
Place. One more left.
Give us at one. The gates are opening.
lost your signal for a while there. Glad to see you're not dead. Now, head for the gate Grubby set up. I thought you might have been distracted by a certain scenic local I heard that. According to rumors in the spawning pit, the Empire hasn't taken over all of Everlife. Apparently, there are still elves hiding in the jungle. of elven beauty. They force feed themselves to look like their mother goddess deity. A little wobble these ladies have. A little wobble. They seem to have a connection with the ruined doors. You interrupt the feeding. Oh! <laughs> 
You won't get by those poison barriers with normal minions. You need the greens. They love jungle areas, especially those with lots of rotting vegetation and exotic stenches. Go deeper into the jungle, sire, and see if you can sniff them out. It's a forge stone, sire. Giblet is very keen to see what that unlocks. That monster to its munching, sire. It has a taste for that tall grass.
Sire.
dreams. The Halo spell, sire. Use yeah. that to buff your minions, or turn yourself into a beam bomb of magical energy. Such sights, such sights. Don't make me skin you and wear you as a hat, Gnarl. <laughs> should consider a little bit of sneaky camouflage, sire. <laughs> Red greens! <laughs> Gentle master. It's important to make the most of that green's stealth abilities. Gal, I don't envy you inside that smelly carcass. Just breathe through your mouth, sire. That place certainly is heavily carded. Very odd. I wonder what's going on inside. Well, you'll soon be finding out, Lord. If they have our hive, you need to find a way in and start smashing some heads. There's the hive! Ah, that was quite easy. Unfortunately, now we need to get it out of there. It's too big for the minion hole. You need to get to that elevator behind the gates, Lord. That's the only way we'll get the hive out. I don't like the look of those fellows either. Stay out of sight and away from those beams. Your greens can hide in those gardens to avoid detection, sire. They like a bit of shrubbery.
lawn ornaments could create a distraction. No one likes having a gnome infestation on their hands. case if you ask me. Right, what's next? <laughs> this is ridiculous. I don't have any magical powers. Well, these upstanding Empire citizens say that you do. Yes, she bewitched my husband, governess. They weren't bewitched. They were bored. I can't help it if rich and powerful men are attracted to me. She's a witch. She must be. Silence! There is only one way to judge this. I knew it. Eradicate her this instant. Wait! Since this is such an unusual specimen, I'd like to examine her carefully before she is cleansed. Your machine? It's broken. I don't have any magic. Let me go! Unhand me, you plebeians! Remember, Master, hide first, wench later. <laughs> what no meant to say is focus on the task in hand. Of course, if you happen upon this prisoner of the Empire, then I'm sure she would be most useful in uh, passing on any essential insider information. <laughs> hmm. are sentinels, Master. It seems as though they can detect magical creatures. That's bad news for us. You're going to have to take them out before we can get the hive away. Quick! Get those minion legs moving! Agile in minion form, run and hide, Lord.
should leave the hive here, Master. Clear a safe route down and then return for it.
of the Sentinels, Lord! Provide any cover against those sentinels, sire. Better make them dead first. <laughs>
Here's the green hive. Back where it should be in our spawning pit. Now you can summon the greens whenever you need a bit of good old-fashioned backstabbing action. You <laughs> 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 Greetings, you choose all. Are everywhere. Yeah, calling about like we own the place. Magical creatures don't have an invitation to their party. This one, mine!
spells to be unnecessarily complicated. Like it's huge. Must be a queen. I suspect the elves are using them against the Empire. She must be controlling the little ones. We should go deeper into the temple and investigate, sire. A spell catalyst that'll allow you to do all kinds of interesting things with your spells. your darkness further afield, scourge of nature. You are too late. I have found a new place where all creatures of light magic can exist in safety. The last sanctuary. Please accept my parting gift, for we shall not meet again. Get that keystone and get out of there, master! <laughs> Minions 
to that keystone. Tries to liquidize your eyeball. Bet that water would give Queenie nasty black hole flashbacks. Her 
Dear Queen, those spiders don't dare attack you. Still, they make an adorable combination with your greens. With these new mounts, your minions will be able to climb into areas that you can't reach, Lord. Maybe our newfound friends can help you get out of that pit, Lord. <laughs> Jiggery pokery.
the locals. That's the thing about vacations. Getting there is half the fun. Yeah. <laughs> 
citizens like to go when they tire of city life. Seems the local elves are being reduced to catering to the every whim of these obnoxious bloaters, debasing their once proud race with the ignominy of servitude. So it's not all bad. <laughs>
Governor Body is down in Norfolk. That command upgrade will let you have the power of life and death over more million souls. Sounds like a 
everyone's crying for us. has arrived, or maybe this is what you're after, hmm? Well, she's destined for the arena, I'm afraid, and if there's any of you left once my guards have finished, you'll be next. Formation forward! On the double! Archers in position! Archers! Fill out full of owls! Uh, you are here to rescue me, right? Forward, then! I'm far too pretty for this place anyway. for this place anyway. You men! You men! Advance! Advance! Yeah. Yeah. Listen! Let's move 
am the arena! I don't care how much blood you have to spill. Just get me out of here! Um, please try not to die. Finish him! I will not have that creature spoiling our resort! Uh, you are here to rescue me, right? Stay back! Stay back! I was just protecting the interest of my guests, that's all. I wouldn't have really sent you to the arena. Hmm. But you would have sent me to the arena. You're not exactly what I had in mind for a white knight, but you certainly fill your armor very well. <laughs> so... Are you going to show her who's in charge of Everlight now? Is she? Oh, the more the merrier, eh, sire? <laughs>
little on the dark side, no natural light, but I think I can work with this. Oh, I see you've already arranged a peasant slave as my lady-in-waiting. She's a bit scruffy. The only thing I'm waiting for, Empire, is for you to put a foot out of line so I can hang your carcass up on the wall with the other pretty vacant things. Juno is now your first mistress, sire. She will remain in the throne room with me. Should you wish to change your first mistress back to Kelda, just visit her in the private quarters. I remember when I was a young minion out in the field. Oh, the f Some folks in Norberg who are trying to flee from your dark ways. They've run away to join an elf commune. I also wanted to ask whether you could spare me a few of your creatures. A couple of them around the house would make my life so much easier. How are they at darning socks? Marvelous Lord! Now, I think I'd like some of those brown fellows. They look strong. Quite right. Can't have the elves giving your subjects ideas about peace and love, sire. As soon as we create some pandemonium in there, the better! You need to get to that wheel to close the gap. Better find some more wolf sire. You choose all! Shut up! 
choose all.
Try not to get yourself locked in an infernal abyss, sire. Just say. Mistress Juno has some intriguing information for you, Master. Those midget thingies of yours. Each to their own, I suppose. I saw some blue ones being taken off to the arena. That must be our blues. This is a great opportunity for a reconnaissance mission, sire. Get our blues back and get to know our enemy. Well, if you've got a boat, I can show you the sea routes. It's the least I can do. to me. Not enough dark corners or dank pools. No anguish screams. Oh, amateurs! Hey, look! Intruders! I never thought I'd be seeing my old homeland like this. Well, guess I'd better give my new man a tour of the place. This harbor is the hub of city trade. So many wonderful things to buy. Of course, you can just steal them, which is much better. Loot away, sire! Enemy's catapult. Empire City is just beyond the fort. Hey, is that the new catapult shift down there? About time. They don't look like no legionaries I've ever seen. Hey, they must be slaves that have escaped from the harbor. Right, fire! Run, sire. Avoid those bolters.
troublemakers. They look like the wrong sort. Another slave has escaped. Greetings, brother. They think you're a slave? Ah, oh, how disgusting. You really have to work on your dress sense. I don't want to go and live in the slums. I managed to bribe a guard for my freedom. slums.
Ah, oh, finally, the Imperial Guards. Oh, you're a bit small. Don't tell me they're recruiting gnomes now. Can't abide gnomes. Cockroaches in pointy hats. Nah, these are good, honest military men, right enough. <laughs> <laughs> Gain control of the catapult, sire. I expect the legionaries could do with a few bulges to the head. Right, right.
because of Forgestone. Ah, oh, the minions will be lining up to be sacrificed to the Great Forge. Delicate constitution. Must be the only thing that's delicate about her. Okay, lads, brace yourselves and heave. Those chairs are something I won't miss about Empire City. Get one short carrier and you're walking. Those sentinels are searching for something. Probably you. I've sent out Grubby with a gate master. recognize this place. It belongs to Senator Drurius. His wife accused me of sleeping with him. As if. I only hinted that maybe I... Now then, I want you to meet our newest recruit. He is known as a gargantuan and hails from our experiments. I mean, our absolutely 100% natural breeding program. As you can see, he's a tough brute. Not like you, Wimpy Lot. Suddenly I feel very, very small. Ah, now, Imperial Guard. Come over here, men! Let's see how you lily-livered loungers stand up to a gargantuan.
Messiah. Obviously, we need to work on his eyesight, but mark my words, men. That there is a marvel of modern warfare. Right, we're on duty at the city gates now, so let's move, quick, sharpest!
I ain't seen a slave like you before. Coming through, coming through. Hey, you're new, ain't you? I'm going to become the best gladiator the arena has ever seen. What are these uncouth louts doing? They're making my garden look untidy. Deal with them, guards. Oh, that's drearious. Just seeing them again makes me want to vomit. Do you know he tried to give me his wife's jewels? I mean, really. I do you do? His wife encouraged the others to get me tried for witchcraft. Punish them both.
other spell catalyst, sire. Don't forget to visit the magic room and assign it to a spell. Got <laughs> When I called you louts, I meant it in the nicest possible way. <laughs> There's the chair. Don't kill us! Don't kill us all! When I called you louts, I meant it in the nicest possible way. <laughs> I will die and cheat for you alone, sire. My emperor now. I am your groveling slave. I am your master. Haven't you forgotten something for little old me? I will worship you, O oh Great One. The leaders of Empire City shall know of your dark mercy. Yes, master. Haven't you forgotten something for little old me? We should try to keep his magnificence a little lower profile for now. Can't get much lower than this place. We need to get you to the arena dungeons and find your blues. The underground slums is the least and safest route, Lord. Oh, fine then. Close your eyes, hold your nose, and go to Much of the city is protected by an anti-magic shield, sire. This prevents use of any magic, including yours. However, it seems that the shield covering the arena and the slums nearby has been turned off. Grubby's currently searching for an area to dig a gate.
Entrance to the arena dungeons. Oh. Who wants free passes to the arena game? Witness the splendor of the games from very close up. Just come inside and we'll escort you to your own VIP quarter. Hmm. Ah, Demon! What is it? Ah, thank you, Gruggy. You'd better find a way to reach it, sire. Rough to reach it, but you'll have to find some blue minions to push it. Only they can swim. Although the other minions are terribly good at drowning. Find another way to the dungeon and locate our damp little friends. <laughs> Gathered creatures from all over the land here. Keep heading to the arena above. Seems most of their magical energy has been removed. Stinking Empire cowards. I like a good hunt, a nice bit of bloodshed, but it should be fair as nature intended. Otherwise, where is the fun? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
felt it's all the right cheek. to go alone from here. Don't worry, your minions will retire to the sporting pit for a game of whose scabby body part is this? And with any luck, you will find our blues inside. Can't wait to see this magical scum in the arena. I reckon those blue things will be fun to watch die. more and free them.
You should know, Great One, that the Blues have a unique blink ability that allows them to become completely invisible when they're being swept. You can use this to blink them past guards and gain access to wheels or switches. Open one of the Blue Minion prisons now, Lord. You can also return here if you run out of Blues. your blues blink ability and sweep them past those guards. As long as you keep them moving, they won't be spotted.
Quicksire, follow that hive! the arena. Oh, I'm going to really miss seeing the games. Oh, don't worry. I'm sure there'll be plenty of horty, smug harpies there to make up for your absence. doesn't appear to be covered by the anti-magic shield either. The hive is being prepared for absorption into the vat of great Emperor Solaris. Now, time for your daily reinvigoration. Don't worry, I will take care of this. I see our special guest has arrived. I knew you'd follow the hive. Guards! Activate the shield and surround him. Master! Master! Ma you will make a superb opening act of the arena game.
my freedom?
there he is! There he is! No, you weren't. You just went off to paint your nails. I... We were all very worried, Sire. But we've got you back now. Ooh, looks like you found our old friend, Reds. of a ticket.
worth the price of a ticket. There are still more minion upgrades to collect, sire. Ah, the greens. It's almost nice to have the smell back. They are stealthy assassins, master, with a ferocious backstab attack.
Red Rescuer. Oh. Our fiery friends are back with us. When will the fairies learn? In fighting reds, you'll end up... look wonderful next to me. Good looks and I that's just so beautiful. You've got a I have a little surprise to thank you for being so generous. Come in. I've just warmed up the chocolate fondue. Master! It just gets everywhere, hey, doesn't I it? I wanna see! Shall we check your magic? Make sure you keep an eye out for Catalyst, sire. For such large artifacts, they're always getting themselves lost. You can see how strong your spells are and what you need to upgrade them. I can smell the fear, although that might just be giblet. Good choice, Master. See you soon, Master. in which could Energy grows in power with its overlord. With the old overlord gone, the magical energy within it should have gradually dispelled. But it appears to have exploded for some reason. So that's what caused the great cataclysm. See if you can locate the other shards of the Tower Heart, sire. Maybe there's some magical energy left.
little more creative control over your minions, Lord. You can make super tough minions, or use them to boost Greens. your own health. something in or keep something out. You choose all. Greens, blues. By the way, they won't be stopping you, great one. Solarius is shrines.
Lord, you can never be too healthy.
horde size has increased, Lord. <gasps> Who's a big, powerful overlord then? You are. You, you are. around here. Do you think it's the one we're meant to be looking for? Yeah, because I'd hate to think we'd stumble upon the wrong secret place. No time for pleasantries. Not that I have anything pleasant to say to you. A large force of Empire troops is heading this way. I come on behalf of Queen Faye to offer you, against my better judgment, a truce. If you agree, Follow me to the last sanctuary. I take no joy that our paths have crossed again, but it appears we share a common enemy, one who is as relentless as they are powerful. I speak of Solarius's empire. His forces are too great for either of us to fight alone. Oh, let me guess. Now she wants to be friends. Together, we may stand a chance. There! No one ever suggests being friends when they're dripping with gold and jewels. I know what you seek in these lands. If you agree to join forces, I will send my Lieutenant Florian to aid you. Help finding the Tower Heart Shard will be useful, sire. I guess we can always kill him afterwards. Greens! of nature. Let's go! The remaining shards are behind this gate. I will open it for you. of nature. Let us continue. Greens! Lose!
work yourself when you can get elves to do it for you. Green blues! There's a good elf doggy. You choose Blue. all. yourself when you can get elves to do it for you. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, Catalyst, it is amazing the things you can find just lying about. Mercy, mercy, 
Please have mercy! We have no need for mercy, Elf. We have justice. To the arena with him! Uh, no! No! Queen Fae! Save me! Save me! Oh well, I guess that's one arena fight that won't last too long, saves you having to kill him. assembled the artifact, Dark One, but it has very little power left. The Empire seek to force their way into the last sanctuary, and from there into your realm. If you really believe this can strike a decisive blow against Solarius, then I give you permission to charge it with energy from my four shrines in the lower caves. Alas, this will mean the destruction of the creatures that live there. Wow, I'm glad I don't live in her domain. Grave decisions must be made during a time of war, but I pray they will not suffer too long. I hope that this object is worth Florian's life. I fear he is not long for this world, especially if he is put in Solarius's vile arena. Couldn't happen to a nicer chap. Go! We don't have long before they break through.
to the shrine, and let's juice this thing up. Carry the tower heart to the shrine, and let's juice this thing up. Now, use your evil presence spell of a crystal to transfer its energy into the tower heart. Oh no, your little ball thingy. Shame. It looked like it was going to be so shiny as well. And sat on top of it like a queen. I think you'd look much better under it. Oh, either way, sire, you must get the tower heart back. It's not fully charged yet. of interesting things with your spells. Yes, That's it, no meat. If he doubt, run away. Right, let's find the next shrine, sire. Better find something to cover that hole, sire. No one needs an exploding gnome stuck to them. Oh, oh. Brown! Oh. Yes, I'm ready. Oh. 
get going before they dig their way out. Oh! Hurry, I don't want the soldiers getting into the netherworld. There's a bit too much empire in here as it is. those lizards around to uh, our way of thinking, Lord. They might make suitable mounts for your reds. It's our shiny thing. We found it, man. And we're not gonna let you use it to destroy the shrines and the pretty creatures. Our queen clearly doesn't know bad vibes when she sees them.
prison spell on the crystal and let's suck it dry. <laughs> have been upgraded, sire. Now don't go thinking you're invulnerable.
us all! Such a shame. Wonderful woman for the uh... See? They're not attacking now! You're their new king? Red! I'm sure the red will be happy they don't have to walk everywhere. Keep moving, sire! One more shrine to go, and lots more empire to crush! Saddle up your reds and sweep the salamanders over the ramp! on that rain and moving. Red, Set those soldiers on fire without being damaged. A drive-by flaming. <laughs> Right! 
still doesn't seem like it's got enough pep yet. Move it, sire, and head back to Queenie. Sharpish, perhaps with the Empire breaking through her roof, there's more of this sanctuary she'd like to sacrifice. Your salamanders moving and flaming, sire.
salamanders on the gnome holes. Get some flames of the parts only their mother sees.
What great magic your artifact must have once held, Dark One. For even the power of my shrines could not revive it. So many have died. So many innocents. It was I who condemned them. So it is only fitting that I tread the same path.
green, red, blue.
stupid. Why are you even hearing me? Oh, you're sick, dear. And we must help the sick and infirm, mustn't we? Yes, you can't help it if the nest is in labor of being all sickening. I shall adjourn to your tower. I will await your return eagerly. <laughs> your queen. I see clearly now, and I wish nothing more to do with this place. He is your ruler now, and you will obey his every command. I have a whole new world waiting for me, don't I, Dark One? I think we have a situation to discuss. You appear to have a couple of unfortunate hangers-on. A refugee from the Empire with more in front than up top. Ridiculous. My hair is lovely. 
And I don't wear black out of season. And some kind of Nordbergian snow rat. I didn't know you did charity work. Hmm. I'd like to see you try to wrestle down and skin a rabid seal, Mother. I guess it's too much to ask that you just kill them right now. So I'll just settle for being the first mistress. I'm sure you don't need it, but as an incentive, I can make sure that salamanders are available in your final battle against the Empire. I was going to cut you a break because you're new around here, fairy. But if you want to play rough, I can offer you the services of the wolves in the final battle if you make me first mistress. Wait a minute. I learned a few tricks in Everlight. If you make me first mistress, I can make sure those little green spidery things aid you instead. That. And I am, after all, me. I may have to gnaw my own ears. Don't be bitter, ladies. He and I do have a history, after all. A wise choice. Still, it's an overlord's prerogative to go back on his choice at any time before the final battle, if he should so desire. You must make your preparations, sire. Wrap up any loose ends. Can't have those things flapping about. You and your minions must be fully... He's a formidable lady. Try not to get yourself locked in an infernal abyss, sire. Just saying, you know, for the record. If you're ready, sire, we'll take the Tower Heart to the edge of the city to find a way of firing it into the city wall. The release of magical energy will be able to knock out the anti-magic shield for good. Remember, your choice of first mistress will provide mounts for certain minion groups. Mistress Kelda can provide your browns with wolves. Mistress Faye can bring your red salamanders. And Juno, oh Juno, she will make sure your greens are fully mobile. Are you sure you're ready, Master? I think Dark Fay may be a little unstable, sire. Still, Salad. No! 
Master, there are bombs going off around the Everlight Resort. We fear it's those elf soldier louts from the jungle trying to start a rebellion. I say, I do like that little winkly creature of yours. Gnarl, is it? He's very cuddly. Can I take him back with me? Come on, little Gnarly! Let's get to the Elven Extermination, Sire. I need to see some violence. Fast!
be no more! The evil of Everlight will be no more!
Don't leave me, master. But I was a young... Grubby could get to the city's anti-magic shield. You'll need to bring the Tower Heart closer to be able to do any lasting damage. And that's the best kind of damage. With the help of Giblet, the minions have managed to build three catapults. There are three nearby hills that would make good spots to use them. You'll need to wipe out the Empire forces nearby and bring the Tower Heart onto the hill so I can send Grubby in with the catapults. Ah, I can practically smell the carnage, sire. Empire wow. Thrones. Good luck, dearest. Make Solarius pay for bringing Glorious and his crevices to Lordburg. Choose all! Yourself, sire, you can always recharge from the Tower Heart. Don't worry, there's plenty to go around. 
those things for hunting.
Greens. Reds. You choose all. Another spell catalyst, sire. Don't forget to visit the magic room and assign it to a spell. Thank <laughs> you. 
Greetings. Position. Attack! Okay, yeah. 
choose all. Here I am. has been increased, Master. Wish mine had. Come on. Oh, you idiots! You idiots! The tower's stuck! Quick, soldiers! Forward! the power of a great big squashing thing, sire.
We're safe in here, aren't we? Go away! There's, uh, there's no one home!
neglect the power of a great big squashing thing, sire. Fool! Do you really think you can defeat the great Emperor Solarius? Even now, his shrines are recapturing the magical energy released from the Tower Heart. To add to our... <clears throat> ...collection from the rest of these lands. That must be what the enormous vat in the palace was for, sire. They must be storing the magic in there. <laughs> so much for their cleansing program. Thieving program, more like. We had thought the power was lost. So considerate of you to bring it straight to us. Solarius will be waiting for you, witch boy. <laughs> If Solarius recaptures that magical energy that is floating about this place, there's no telling how much power he might wield. It may be even greater than yours. <laughs> Empire City is laid open before you like a putrid oyster, sire. Time to savor that sweet moment, just before you trample it into grey sludge. The Imperial Palace Look, Solarius is cowering behind his very own anti-magic shield. Hmm, it's been powered by those four temple shrines. Right, time to stop that malarkey. That magical energy belongs to us. And do drink in the sights and sounds of city life, sire. It's important to see what you're about to try. Ah, chaos at play, sire. It's nice to know that the brown trouser times, well, brown toga times are well Back again! Solarius will be most amused at your perseverance, barbarian. At once he has taken your energy and wiped out that rat army, he will turn your little domain into sewers when he rebuilds this land in his own glorious image. He really does enjoy the sound of his own voice, doesn't he? Grubby can only place a gate behind that barrier. Find a way around, sire. <laughs> What on earth is going on out here? <laughs> oh, Brown! Oh. Green, Brown! You choose all! Insurance doesn't cover acts of demon well, lording. My wine collection has been smashed. So many fine vintages wasted. Where are the slaves? They must be put to work immediately. Oh no, it's him! Put an end to those overprivileged sponges, sire! Quick, we must protect the silverware! What do you command?
Hunter will save us. Valerius will provide. Drink, quickly, drink. <clears throat> I feel so, so alive, so ready to kill. From collected from the slum folks, please. Greed and avarice in the face of innocence and poverty are our traits. Crush the competition, oh. master. Enemy approaches, Commander. Throw your bombs! But there are citizens out there. Then they will die in glory for their empire, won't they? But do you doubt your place in the glorious empire, soldier? That was an order! Hail! Hail! Hail, hail, hail to Solarius! Hail! Hail! Hail, hail, hail to Solarius! Hail! Hail! Hail, hail, hail to Solarius! Oh, 
friendly local cloak stranger. Oh, do shut up now. What? How did you know? Hang on. I recognize that voice now. Rose, former Mistress Rose. Or Mrs. Maddie is now, I should say. Well, don't trust her. She's a devious, manipulative abandoner. Oh, and she's your mother. The one who took you away from us and left you in that festering town. I knew what you could become. The power within you. The Empire had to be given a chance to bring a little order and discipline to these lands. I thought that Solarius was going to be a decent ruler, but power, it always corrupts. Ha! That's half the fun! You can't keep evil down. His power has peaked. It's become unstable. He's become unstable. Now he's just a hideous weed, choking the land he set out to rebuild. A weed that needs to be cut down, ripped out. Hmm. Perhaps you really are the one to wield the axe. I have to go. Marius is calling for me. Hmm, hard to tell if he's on our side, Solarius' side, or her own side. Wretched wench! She didn't do enough damage keeping you away from your minions and your birthright.
Prison. We may have an enemy in our midst, but I urge you all to keep calm, for we are standing on the brink of a new dawn, the birth of a new divinity. The demon far we face today may seem overwhelming, but I assure you, citizens, that he can be beaten. Solarius will show you the way. And now you must all drink. Drink of the blessed nectar of Solarius. Drink and let it cleanse your fears. Drink and be abilities.
master of nature! I escaped the arena dungeons with the aid of a helpful fairy! Jam! Thought we got rid of that tree hugger! I'm going to find Solarius! He'll be a very different man when I finish with him! Let's bring this to an end! You and me, Scourge! You do the whole smash things up bit and I'll back you up with inspirational monologues! Clearly he's going to whinge at Solarius until he kills himself! Oh, good work! If only I could have this girl, it could have been a very different story! Sorry. Anyone would think you were about to take over the world. Shall we continue? I assure you, your complete and total annihilation is just around the corner. As you can see, Florian still has his uses. Helping me play with your little barbarian head for one. By maintaining him, I could bring the sanctuaries down from the inside, piece by piece. That piece of delicious irony isn't lost on you, Scourge. I collected the magic here, refined it, and fed it back to my citizens until they became pliable and generous. Of course, I sampled a little, took what was mine. People's dreams and nightmares. Their fears, their will. They will be reborn in me as I rise from elf to emperor to god. So 
call it magic, and it's devouring everything in its path. Lose! Looks more like the result of a giant sneeze! That magic energy didn't take kindly to its new host! Soured sign! Use in the wasteland! Lord, you are truly a magnificent sign! And I'm sure when you are ready, you will reward me for my loyalty! Revolutionaries! Now is our time to strike at the Empire! We need a hero of the people! You there! Attack it! Why me? We are all equal in the new people's attack, republic! Attack, attack, attack! The people have spoken! Attack, no! Attack, there. Attack, no! Attack! 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 That thing's certainly hungry. Maybe if you could put a few meals on Lexi's way, that might slow it down. Got him angry, sire. Keep this up, and we might be able to extract Salarius from that pile of goo. See, let's get a good power.
can be killed. Divinity will be truly mine! Quick, sire! Whilst he's being all divine, draw out his magical energy with your evil presence spell. This is what I should have been, mortals! The world has been put right! Someone's awake! Oh, 
not be taken. Stop. Green, brown, blue.
And so it has ended. The cycle starts afresh. I hope you don't expect me to clean this up. Men can't destroy without getting everything all messy. And so the glorious empire fell. Envy, such powers often do, hit a pile of sludge on the ground. And a new reign started, one born of both destruction and domination, for that all-round evil mix. Ah! And the master lived in, uh, harmony with his mistress, Zeus. But one day, his power too may come to an end, for there are many things that seek to bring down an overlord. Some come from the darkest pits, and some from the shiniest cities, whilst others are merely biding their time. Because evil always finds a way. Ha 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 ha!